human dignity. The great biblical tradition enjoys on that deeper the duty to hear the voice of the poor. It bids us break the bonds of injustice and oppression, which give rise to glaring and indeed the scandal of social inequality. Reforming the social structures which perpetuate poverty and the exclusion of the poor first requires a conversion of men and hearts. The bishops of the Philippines have asked that this year be set aside as the year of the poor. I hope that these prophetic sounds will challenge everyone at all levels in the society to reject every form of corruption which diverts resources from the poor. Well, let's go to some live pictures now um, of Pope Francis, who's begun his official visit to the Philippines. And as you can see there, he's at Manila's Immaculate Conception Cathedral, where he's giving mass. Um, this is uh, the Pope's first official visit to um, the Philippines. Many, many thousands of people have gathered in great excitement um, to see him. Um, before he was in Sri Lanka, this is his seventh, second trip to the region in five months. Um, and just signals the importance of African places on Asia um, and with its potential for of the Catholic Church. Um, Philippines, of course, has 80% of its 100 million people are members of the Catholic faith. And there you can see the Pope is giving mass at the Immaculate Conception Cathedral. Well, while we watch those, we can talk to Matariza Zuzquita, who is editor at large of the Daily News online service in Rapla, Rapla and she's in Manila for us. Um, just earlier, he gave, um, Pope Francis gave a speech, um, and he really pulled no punches, didn't he? Well, in a speech at the Presidential Palace, the Pope said the bishops of the Philippines have asked that this year be set aside for the year of the poor. He also urged to reject corruption and 